Alright, it has been a long road in Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days, but it's time. We're going to finish it tonight. We only have two missions left to do in mission mode, and then we are done. We've completed the story, we've completed all of the challenge mode, and we've com we'll have completed mission mode as well. On top of which, synthesizing and buying everything from the shop. Like, there's basically nothing left for me to do. On top of which, as you can see, I decided to go the extra mile. I've grinded to maximum level off-camera, as well as getting the, all the mission crowns I need to get the final mission reward, which was a accessory rain, which is really, really bad. Anyhow, we're going to play as Saix, because, I mean, duh, Saix is really, really good. So I'll, I'll show you guys the reward that I got for all the challenge stuff. It's the Master's Circle, so plus 30 defense and plus 100% resistance to all elements. That is really good, no doubt about that. Here's the problem. It's the Risky Play and Permaplight abilities. So it gives me like all the resistance, which is great. Permaplight, lose the ability to recover HP once it is low and remain in constant peril. So it's like a variation on the Extreme Rain, which like I guess you can potentially spam Limit Breaks more easily, but makes it you can't heal, which is terrible. And then Risky Play, lose HP when your attacks miss. That's terrible. Given how easy it is to whiff with your attacks, it's, that's so bad. So, definitely not a great re reward, by any means. We're going to continue using Critical Sun, because it's, like, the best. I love that crit bonus it gives. Using Zero Gear with all of these Sight units, and on top of which, apparently this is all the slot releasers in the game. It looks like there should be one more, but no. It, apparently, that's all the slot releasers. 119 out of 119. Unless I'm... I'm pretty sure that's it. Anyhow, Saix is ready to rumble. So we have two missions left in Twilight Town. We're going to start with the six giant Heartless elimination. This should be fun as Saix. And hey, while we're here, we might as well try to fight the Dust Flyer in mission mode because we have unlimited... I set the mission settings to unlimited time after you complete the mission. How many Kiras did I equip? Probably not enough. Hello, Mr. Guard Armor. Four Kuras, great. And of course, because it's mission mode, we do take extra damage. Alright, he falls apart. Alright, so these guys have more HP in mission mode, by a uh, not inconsequential amount. Alright, let's take out the gauntlets first, because they're kind of annoying. You know, Saix is damage up, but it's not as high as I was expecting. If I can be frank. Oh, there we go, okay. Destroyed his limbs, now we just have to destroy his head. Ouch. I suppose I could extend the stream a bit more if I wanted to, but be like, <laughs> let's see how many people can defeat the Dust Flyer. Let's do Donald Duck versus the Dust Flyer. Which would be a funny meme, but... If I didn't have to kill, like, six giant Heartless just to get to the Dust Flyer then maybe I'd be more inclined to do it. Or actually, maybe... Maybe you only have to kill the, um... Stalwart Blade. I think you have to kill everything, though. Alright, where's the Orcus? There's the Orcus. That's right, this is the guy that flies away from you anytime you try to do anything. Ouch. <sighs> Is he just gonna spam this dumb move over and over, like usual? Thank you. 
That is exactly what he's doing. Well, you know what? Whatever. I'm still whittling away your HP. Especially when I get critical hits. Rats. Wish that finishing hit on the ground combo was just a little bit faster. Okay, I just want to point out, he has other moves he can do, but he just always picks this one. Because it's the one that takes the longest amount of time. Wow, he used his shockwave attack way faster than he normally does. Oh look, he's doing the stupid move again. Like, at the very least, he has a move where he flies up to the ceiling and drops a bunch of orbs. Maybe he want maybe he does a shockwave attack more quickly when he's at low HP. Yeah, I'm not doing this as Donald Duck. <laughs> Going through the six heartless alone would just be way way too annoying. There's his orb attack! I told you he could do it. Alright. Now let's go after the lounge lizard. Then we, after that we have the poison plant, the stalwart blade, and... One other, I think, maybe? Oh no. I hate being blind. Thankfully, ground combos are very powerful. Also, thank goodness magic exists. I cannot fathom how you control that stupid limit break. No matter what I do, he always just moves just straight into the wall. Yeah, these missions just, at this point, they just take a while. They're not particularly difficult, they just, they're gonna take a while. Because <laughs> as the enemies get stronger in mission mode, your damage output just goes down to nothing. Even with, even at max level with like super high strength and max critical hit rate. We're only doing this much damage as the strongest character in the game. Yeah, Donald Duck versus Dustfire is not happening. And what? Okay, so here's what I'm gonna try something. So I think this way leads to the Stalwart Blade. Yes, okay, so I'm gonna take out the Stalwart Blade. If the Dust Flyer appears in here right after I defeat him, then maybe I'll try Donald Duck versus the Dust Flyer just to show it off. I'm not actually gonna try to beat it, but. <laughs> that 
always interesting. Aha, there we go. See, that's the damage output I'm looking for. Alright. So if we leave and come back, does Dust Flyer appear, or do we literally have to kill every Heartless before he does? Okay, no, we have to kill every single Heartless before the Dust Flyer appears. Great, okay, yeah, we're not. <laughs> we're not even gonna try this with someone like Donald. Way more trouble than it's worth. That one is by far the easiest of the Giant Heartless. That or the sh the Giga Shadow is up here. I always forget about Giga Shadow. Wow, okay, he was also laughably easy. Okay. Let's try our hand at the Dust Flyer and see if we can actually take him on, or if he's going to just r rip us a new one. Also, it's going to be really annoying to avoid leaving the room accidentally. Alright, this is going to be the toughest fight in the game right here. <laughs> Mission Mode Dust Flyer. Taking the bonus boss and upping his difficulty even more. At least our damage output is decent. Oh wow! We are already dead. Thankfully, I also set the lives to five, so we can afford to die quite a few times. Look at the damage output we're doing. We're doing, like, literally one damage per hit, unless we happen to get a critical hit. Thunder does absolutely nothing, as you might expect. Yeah, literally the only way we're ever going to do damage to this guy is if we happen to get critical hits. Which is why I equipped maximum sight units with the critical sun. Yes, please keep up the critical hits. That is exactly what we need. I don't think this fight's going to be particularly hard, it's literally just going to take forever.
The biggest danger is going to be accidentally touching the loading zone for the rooms, which completely resets the fight. And all of this just for the bragging rights. So I could say I've done everything in 358 over two days. Fire. This also means that the next the fight against Shion is actually gonna be fun, I think. The important words being I think. I don't know for sure. Especially in her Ragnarok spam happy form. Uh oh. Gonna just pop an elixir to get my Kira's back. For safety. Alright. See, when, when we consistently get critical hits, we actually do pretty decent damage against him. At least, again, by Dust Flyer standards. <laughs> Syx, you sent Roxas to die to the Dust Flyer, so it's only fair that you have to go fight it yourself. Practice makes perfect, Roxas. You just have to spend five hours fighting him. It's really easy. <laughs> We give you the whole day for the mission. <laughs> I probably shouldn't try to get free hits on, on him while he's doing that. Oh no. I always accidentally run into him when he does that. I should have equipped more Curas. Okay, super glide. Like, the max level glide makes that way easier to avoid. This attack again. That's fine. Alright, he only has a little over four bars left. We can do this. We even have another elixir. Things get hairy. Oh no, I hate it when he does that. If he does a shockwave on top of the stairs, that's annoying. Alright. Four bars left. Yes, keep up the, the critical hits. And this is where max level air slide also really helps, because having six air slides is actually really nice for this fight. getting the max combos you can on him. Alright, three bars left.
As long as I don't accidentally leave the room, we should be alright. I don't like it when he's moving over towards that. Towards the exits. I'm stuck! Alright, come on. Yes, two bars left. I'm too, I'm too close to that. Mm. I don't trust it. Yes, go over to this side, please. So close. One bar left. <gasps> Ouch. Does Syx have natural like defense against the Earth attack? I wouldn't think he would. I would think Lexius would be the one of the Earth resistance. Psyx has moon resistance, which only anti Psyx has, uh, like, uses moon based attacks, I'm pretty sure. Alright. This, sh this should do it. Never mind. No critical hits. Yes! See a mission mode dust flyer. And I only died once. All right, yes. And that's the toughest fight in the game. Woo! Six mission crowns. Not that I need them anymore. We have all the rewards. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Proxima. <laughs> All right, last mission, Shion. Now, Shion is a fight I want to do as a lot of different characters. We'll start with Saix, though, because he hates Shion so much, so he should have an easy job of it. Should have equipped more Kiras. Oh my gosh, he's obliterating her. Alright, well, I mean, her first phase is already really easy, but this is just laughable. Alright, first form down. That was simple. Time for the annoying form. Lagalicious. Alright, at least we can do a lot of damage to her as Saix, unlike 
Well, Roxas can do a lot of damage as well, but not to this level. I don't care if she does have extra HP. Yes, please keep doing this. No, not Ragnarok. Boo. That move is the worst, and by that I mean it's actually a really good move. For you, not for me. No healing for you. Ouch. You think you're doing- you think you're fancy with your backflips? I have a claymore with your name on it. Alright, wow, yeah. Syx just destroys her. Which is very in, char in character for him. Gosh. Okay. This is where things get dangerous. We do have auto life, but... Stop trying to heal yourself. Man, she keeps trying to heal herself, and that's not okay. If she, like, starts levitating in the air like that, she's trying to heal. But if we attack her during that, then it knocks her out of it. Uh oh. Yeah, if, if your scimitars start glowing golden, I'll, I'll get out of the way. I know what that means. Alright. Face free down. Time for the final form. I hate light. I always sleep in the pitch black darkness. Ouch. Just waiting for her black hole attack, which comes out of nowhere. I think it's this one. Yep! How do you even avoid that? Well, let me break dealt a little damage against her. A little. You have a lot of HP, but honestly... You're still not that intimidating, despite it. Take this. She's not saying anything. Does she only talk if you're fighting her as Roxas? Because she directly talks to Roxas during the fight. But she's she's not saying a word to Syx, which is also in character for her, because Syx is a huge jerk butt. But he's so good at missions. Uh-oh. She lowered my level, which means I take way more damage. Well, hey, that limit break actually did what did good. If the boss is a stationary pillar, then Sykes' limit break actually works. All right, bye, Shion. Wow, yeah, that was easy. <laughs> Ten mission crowns.
And that's it for... We've completed all the missions, and I've heard that there's new stuff at the shop now. If you clear all the missions. Possibly. Maybe not. Can I redeem anything? Maybe we have to save first. There are two bonus characters you unlock after clearing mission mode. We did clear all the missions, right? Gotten everything in Twilight Town. Gotten everything in Wonderland. Everything in Olympus. Oh my gosh! There's one mission in Agra. Well, okay, we're doing... Instead of ending with the epic mission, we're ending with a really boring heart collection mission. I thought we had done all the Agrabah missions. Well, that's very anticlimactic. I hate Heartless. Die! <laughs> I thought for sure I had cleared every other mission. That's... that's annoying. Alright, where are the Heartless at? Is it just a bunch of loud mouths? Just a room full of extroverts. Well, it's going well so far. Maybe I missed some in the first room. Do Heartless even appear in the first room? Doesn't seem like they do. Then either there are some in the palace that I somehow missed, or there's more in here. How did I miss you two? Alright, there's gotta be two more somewhere in this room. It's probably they're probably on here. Oh, or not. Are they just lying out in the middle of the room? Weird, I thought I looked everywhere. What the heck? Just die. Let me go back to my castle. <laughs> I should have done this one first. Or in a previous stream. That's what you get when you put off the boring missions for last. Alright, are there any more? Are there any more missions that I may have missed? Or was that the last of them? No, that was the last of them. Okay, it was just the one. Now, aha! Limit Pass adds a new setting in the Mission Mode config. You can now configure Limit Breaks. Yes, please. I have... <laughs> 100,000 heart points, so might as well. Now, this is where the new stuff is in the shop. Is that the... No, there should be more stuff in the shop. But everything looked like it was sold out. It's not stuff you synthesize, is it? I don't think it... It shouldn't be. 
I've heard there are two abilities that you can get that unlock new characters in mission mode. Alright, mission config. Attack strength, damage drops. Limit breaks, you can have endless <laughs> limit breaks? That would break the game. Alright, nope, still no new characters in the shop. That's weird. Hmm. I need more curas as well. Alright, um, that's weird. I remember there, I literally was told online, and they would never lie online, that after you clear everything in mission mode, you can unlock, there are new stuff in the shop, and two of the new things you can buy in the shop are special abilities that unlock new characters. But they lied to me. There's nothing to redeem either. Do I have to go... Do I have to buy it outside of mission mode? I don't think... I, sh I shouldn't have to buy it outside of mission mode, but you never know. Here. I have some super special goods in, sh in store. It's not here. It's not here either. What gives? Alright, I gotta look this up then, apparently. Because what the butch? After filling the mission bar completely for all missions in story mode. In story mode? I've done that. I want this to be... I want this to be a 100% playthrough. I've made it this far. I've lit I literally grinded up to max level. I have like 50 hours logged in this game. That's more than two solid days of playing this uh, without sleep. Yeah, okay. I don't know what gives. There should be two items in the shop. This is really annoying. Okay, if it's saying I have to fill it up completely in mission mode... First off, I, I can't tell how often I've done that on which of these levels. Okay, I will double check to make sure I've gotten the crown on every single mission. Yeah, okay. So, it's just broken. There is... I'm gonna have to look that up offline, because... So the two new characters you can unlock, you can unlock Sora, and you can unlock Mickey Mouse. As two new mission mode characters, and I should have completed the conditions for both of them, and they're just flat out not appearing in the store. It says, Mickey, he's unlocked by purchasing Return of the Cane from the Moogle Shop after getting all missions finished. I've done that, but he's not available in the store. It says, Sora, you can unlock by purchasing Sora's Awakening in the Moogle Shop, available after filling the mission bar completely for all missions in story mode. I've done that. I want to show the both of them off, but apparently the game just says no. Alright. Well, I'm not going to keep talking about this. We're going to have Shion fight Shion. <laughs> because, why not? Oh, well, this will at least be interesting. Won't be as it's not going as smoothly as Saix does, though.
Alright, first form down, took more damage than I had expected, but alright. I feel like I should have unequipped some of these high jumps, because it's actually screwing up with my air combos a bit. Whoa! That's not what you're supposed to do. Like, my jumps are too high, so I don't get both the hits off right away. Oh uh, yeah, limit breaks. This is what I've been waiting for! The, the worst is when she does Ragnarok followed by the health refill move, because then you just can't... If you want to interrupt her healing, then you have to get hit by Ragnarok, which is going to just kill you. Please keep doing this move over and over again. All right. Yes, good. Worst form is over. <laughs> yeah, so it's a bit harder if it's been harder just because we're not Psyx, but still way still way easier than trying to figure out how to get Sora and Mickey unlocked. annoying because either, either literally every source that I've read online is wrong, which I mean, it could happen, it is the internet, or my game is broken. Ha-ha! Killed it her before she could kill me. That's a little uncalled for, Shion. Should have brought some limit recharges. Oh well. I think air combos are still faster. It's just gonna take a while. Especially without limit breaks. Very touching music, though. I pep. I have no idea how it is even possible to dodge that. It comes out instantly and follows you no matter where you go, so you just, it just, it will hurt you.
Maybe you have to do like a really precisely timed dodge roll. I, but that would be that would be like have to be frame perfect. I would imagine. Yeah, she's not talking. So she only actually issues her voice clips if Roxas is the one fighting her. Otherwise, she's just silent. I guess it kind of makes sense since one of her battle quotes is, Ready, Roxas? Which would be weird if you weren't Roxas, but you could have just made it so only that clip doesn't play. Get out, get out, get out! Okay. Can we say goodbye to the black hole? This has a very different meaning if she owns the one beating herself up. <laughs> Although, when Roxas fights Shion, Shion doesn't want to win. She wants Roxas to beat her. Which is why she's, like, gouting him into fighting. Bye, Shion. Alright, we're going to run the stream a bit late today, because I want to <laughs> play this as a bunch of different characters. So next we'll have Axel fight one of his best friends, because we're cruel like that. See how far you can get there, buddy. I won't be playing as every character. But there are two other characters that I do want to fight Shion as after Axel. Alright, yeah, simple enough. Again, first phase is always easy. I think... Axel, I think, is more powerful than Shion and Roxas, but... Either that or he's just faster at his attacks. He's either more powerful and less fast of his attacks, or he's less powerful but faster of his attacks, and I can't decide which is the... Okay, his finishing hits are really powerful, though. Which is... that's good. Like if you, yeah, if you if you can hit with your finishers, you do big damage. I've, I've learned my lesson this time. I'm saving my limit breaks. <laughs> oh.
Okay, I'm glad Axel is so powerful. Because someone with low attack power against Shion would be very, very frustrating. Although not as frustrating as someone against the Dust Flyer with low <laughs> attack power. Yeah, I love how she has less HP in this form than she did in her last form. I mean, oh my, we're, we're playing as Axel. Like, come on. How is that not cool? I love playing as the different characters, even if half of them suck. I also wish that certain characters had more powerful specific spells, like, it would be cool if Axel's fire spells were the strongest, even if Donald has a higher magic stat, but, like, Axel's blizzard attacks really stink. That, that would be really cool. So Axel has a lot of reach on his finishers because he froze his chakrams. All right, nice job, Axel. You're you're getting through this really quickly. Yes, I am a terrible person for making Axel fight one of his best friends. But you know what? Makes <laughs> cinematic. This is what gets the views. Now I can title the video, Axel is forced to fight his best friend, not clickbait. I won't actually title it that, but I could if I wanted to. You fool. Now you've just made it so I can limit break. That's right, Axel's limit break is not as good as some others. The limit break also has good range on it, too. Oh, wow. Where did Chion's HP go? Oh, yeah. Limit breaks. Alright. Ready, Axel? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I was ready. Oh, no, I wasn't. I was about to say I had the mood memorized, but apparently I didn't. Alright, Chion. Enough with the black hole attack. There we go. Come on, like, just die already, all right? Okay. Next, I guess we could fight her as Riku, but that's not one of my planned characters. Next, we're going to fight her as Xemnas himself. <laughs> I like using Xemnas, even if he's not the best member of the organization, but he's the coolest. Plus, it seems fitting that Xemnas would fight her, since he's the one who's been putting her through all the suffering. Along with Saiyax. Oh, this is gonna... This is gonna be fun with Xemnas. 
it'll be a lightsaber duel. If Zeminus can actually get his combos off, he does so much damage. These combos look so darn impressive. How dare you! I have the Force on my side. <laughs> Dog on it. Xemnas is so cool. He's like, you're literally controlling a Sith Lord. No. Oh my gosh! Ha! Rag Ragnarok does nothing to him! That's hilarious. Zebnus is like, Ragnarok, that means nothing to me. <laughs> oh man. Oh my gosh, Zemnis is destroying her. Do it again. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's amazing! Who cares about light? <laughs> he literally takes no damage from it. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, Zemnis is destroying her. Nice try. Fire to the face. Kingdom Hearts gives me strength. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. Now this is a final boss. I, I'm literally controlling the final boss. How dare you! Oh wait, <laughs> she's doing her super attack. You can't kill Zemnis that easily. <laughs> How did she hit me when I was that high up in the air? Hearts, help me! <laughs> Let me fight this intruder. <laughs> Seriously, just the fact that you can control the final boss of Kingdom Hearts 2 and beat up the final boss of this game, it's so good. Also, now that we're not using Zemnis' default weapon, he can actually attack air enemies without just being like, I'm shooting down. Nina, Nina. <laughs> Alright, the grand finale. Oh yeah, air combos deal so much more damage. Oh no, now I can't use air combos. At least the f ground finisher still does a lot of damage. Ouch. 
Talk on it, that still deals stupid damage. Zemnis' woman break looks so cool. Oh no! Light! Wait, I thought Zemnis was like immune to the light. After the Ragnarok debacle. <laughs> I'm not impressed. In Kingdom Hearts 2, I have like 18 forms. You only have four. Oh no, it's the light. <laughs> Whatever will I do? I'm kinda curious if her giant light attack will even damage me. Let's find out. <laughs> Samus does not even care. I actually think that does less limit break does less damage than regular combos. <laughs> Alright. Goodbye, Shion. Alright. One last thing I wanna do. So I've I've been alerted of something else you can do. If you pick Roxas in mission mode, now normally you wouldn't pick Roxas in mission mode because a he's not as good as Syx, and b you use Roxas in the main story constantly. But something you can do with Roxas only in mission mode, if you equip the zero gear and equip all three ability units to it, again only in mission mode, only if with the zero gear, he turns into dual wielding Roxas. Which means we can do any mission as dual wielding Roxas. So we're gonna have to fight Shion one last time. Again, as dual wielding Roxas. Just to see what's up. And then we'll do some final digging to see if we can get Sora and Mickey Mouse, and otherwise we end it and without ever seeing them. And I continue to believe that they're just a myth that they're even in the game. Okay, dual wielding Roxas is finisher. Oh my gosh, that does so much damage. That almost shaves off an entire HP bar, all by itself. That's fantastic. Oh, come on, she has one HP left. Take that. Alright. Wow, ground combos barely do any damage. I guess air... Oh. I guess the air combo doesn't do as much damage when she's not gigantic.
So what's interesting is all of, each of the characters in mission mode will have a natural resistance to one element. So Roxas's natural resistance is light, which I thought that her Shion's light attack and her Ragnarok were both light based. But apparently they're not, because Xemnas' primary thing that he's immune to is nil resistance. So apparently those ta attacks deal nil based damage. Oh my gosh! Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake! I mean, it worked out in the end. Because, uh, the Ragnarok didn't kill me, but yeah, I think it should have. So, I actually have several rings that give me 100% nil resistance, so if I equip those, it might make Ragnarok and her, like, super light attack do no damage to no matter which character I'm using. I actually don't know for sure. But that would be interesting. Waya! Wachika chika! Yeah, but if I unlock Sora and Mickey, it would be awesome to fight Riku as them. Before we finish the series once and for all. Yoink! Yoink! Ah! Okay. <laughs> Dual wielding Roxas is... I expected a little more from him, to be honest. Because this is supposed to be, like, his superpower form. But honestly, I feel like his damage output is only the... Wow! Can you stop using your desperation move over and over again? Good grief. Wow! That's the fifth time she's used it in a row. At least I have second chance with this setup. Yeah, this phase is not fun to fight as dual wielding Roxas, because you can't get any... By the time you get to your finisher, she's already have cartwheeled away, so you won't hit her with them, so you do so much, such little damage. Not helping matters is that she's spamming her desperation move. My goodness, magic deals just no damage. Because once you reach this level of mission mode, the enemies have so much defense, your basic attacks do almost no damage, and it's really only your finishers that can do damage. And because Dual Wielding Roxas just has stupidly long combos, it takes forever to reach his finisher, and by the time you reach it, there's no way Shion is still in the same place. So you can only really hit her with... Oh, okay, that time I hit her with a finisher. That's good. But like that, she kept cartwheeling away and I couldn't hit her with it. And I dealt very little damage with the regular attack.
Okay, finally! I swear, that form will have taken longer to beat than her final form. Yeah, dual wielding Roxas on paper sounds... Okay, well that finisher dealt a ton of damage. I was gonna say, dual wielding Roxas sounds really cool on paper, but he's not that practical of a fighter. Malm combos is, does not necessarily mean good combos. Okay, Limit Break does a lot of damage against her. Limit Break does an insane amount of damage against her. Was I not close enough? Oh, well, if she summons her Hurricane to suck me away, then that's... Okay, if you hit her just right with your aerial finisher, you can shave off like a bar and a half. Oh no, not blind. Desperation move time? Yep. Oh, that's weird. She's also not saying anything to dual wielding Roxas. Maybe she just doesn't say anything in mission mode. So close. I just need to take a little bit more damage. Not a lot, just a tiny bit. So I can use another limit break and finish this. Okay, that's what I needed. Just don't summon a hurricane. Alright, this should do it. Bye, Shion! Alright, I will not be using dual wielding Roxas again, because he is very overrated. Alright. Gonna try one last time to figure out how to unlock Sora and Mickey Mouse. Or is there a Game Shark cheat to just unlock them instantly? Do I really have to beat the game again? Okay. You know what? That's really all that I have left to try, to be honest. It's my, my last hurrah. I'm going to beat the game again and see if that does anything. And if not, then... I'm just going to say screw it. <laughs> but here we go. We're going to beat the game again. And we're going to equip max sight units because those are better. Oh yeah, that's, that's way better. Alright. So guess what? I guess we're beating Shion one more time. But it's non-mission mode Shion, so she should be a lot easier and faster, especially since we're level 100. And then we beat Riku, who should also be laughably easy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, this is not even going to be a contest. Okay, yeah, this is going to take almost no time. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, well that still sucks. Take that. You deserve it. <laughs> wow! One limit break just immediately took out her third form. That's hilarious. That's the power of max level, zero gear, with foresight... Yeah, foresight units. <laughs> There's no... Wait, is this actually going to... <laughs> wow! By Shion, get wrecked! Alright. I believe we can... Oh man, I've seen that opening so many times for all the grinding I did. That was amazing. Alright. Let's finish this pitiful charade. Oh no, look at how all the damage that the Neo Shadows are dealing. Alright, Riku. This is gonna be a short fight. Yeah, you're not impressing me, Riku. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> there we go. Beat the game. Now, come on. Give me my prize. Oh, no. Do I have to... I can't skip this. Maybe today we'll finally hit the beach. Come on. I've seen the credits before. Let me skip them. Do, 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 do. Where are the hotkey config? What's fast forward? Fast forward? Oh, it's just tab. That is barely a fast forward. Only seven days to go, and then my summer vacation's over. Yeah, I, I know. Okay, yes, we we beat the game. Okay, that's wonderful. <laughs> it was so difficult. I don't want a chaperone tonight. Okay, yeah. I'm very happy all these people made this game. It was it was great. It was very fun. But I want my prize. Yeah, every single internet source I've seen has said the exact same thing. And I should have the requirements completed. And I don't know why they're not. Do 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 do. 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 Alright. Do 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 do. Oh! Okay, this might do it. Because it says beat the mission. Or be beat the game with all missions completed. And beat the game with all of the ga mission gauges filled. I didn't beat the game before I did all that. Okay. This could be promising. Okay. New save file. We beat it. We did all of it. We're gonna go out... ...to the official shop of the clock tower. Not even the mission mode shop. Official clock tower shop. If it's not here, I'm literally gonna see if I can do, like, a Game Shark code to get them.
I am not happy about this. I literally had. What else do you want from me? I've literally done everything. Like, I have literally done everything. I guess I haven't gone back to the theater and watched all the cutscenes a second time. But who would want to do that? Okay, still nothing. Here's Roxas. Nothing in the mission mode shop either? Nope. Okay, last ditch effort. I'm gonna see if there's a cheat code that I can activate. Okay. This is, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time Artie is using an official cheat code in the emulator, but here we go. All right. Now, how do I actually do this? I've never done this before. Save. Okay. Let's see if this changes anything. Nope. It doesn't. Are they now available at the shop? Oh, maybe I have to like reset the emu maybe I have to reset the emulator after activating the cheat codes. That actually could make a lot of sense. I'm tr I'm trying to pull out, like, look, it, this is not for a lack of trying. I'm trying to literally pull out all the stops to show off everything in this game. I'm even willing to cheat. And it's still not even working. This is just bothering me. Like, it's like the game just flat out doesn't want me to see it, and I want to see it all the more now. I can't tell if my p copy of the game is literally just broken, or if every single person on the internet is lying about this. You decide in the comments. Because I've, I've consulted so many websites, and every single one of them says, To unlock Mickey, beat the game and purchase The King's Return for a thousand heart points at the Moogle Shop after clearing every mission. And then it says, To unlock Sora, you beat the game and purchase Sora's Awakening for two thousand heart points at the Moogle Shop after filling the mission gauge in every miss mission. I have done all of that, and they are not in the freaking shop. There's lit there is literally nothing else in this game I could possibly get. Okay. My final. And I do mean it. This is literally my last ditch effort. If this does not work, then we end the stream, and we don't get to show off Sora and Mickey, and I will be of the opinion that it is literally just a myth that they're even existing in the game because I've never seen anybody play as them, never seen their existence in the game, I've just heard that they are in. And this is just a giant practical joke being played by the internet, being like, oh, let's see how many people we can convince that they're actually in it. Okay. I literally, instead of just resetting the emulator, I turned the entire thing off. I've turned on both of the Mickey and Sora cheats. And of course, they don't actually appear. Okay. Well, I give up. I, I don't think Sora and Mickey are actually in the game. Because I've... I think it's just a giant internet practical joke that they pretend they're in the game. Even though there are two slots available for them to be in it. I've done everything. Literally everything. And... nothing. I go to the shop. I hit buy. And there's, there's nothing here. Look, I've bought everything already. But everything. I have synthesized everything. It's not a synthesis vein. I will, like, octuple check, but it's not a synthesis vein. No. Nothing. And there's nothing to redeem, either. So, if anybody out there is watching this, either in Twitch or on YouTube, and you can see clearly, like, oh, the reason you haven't unlocked Sora and Mickey is because of this fane, please let me know, and offline, I will test to see if I can actually get them to work. If I can get them enabled, I'm not going to do another stream, but I will at least do a short recording showing them off. Otherwise, I'm going to conclude that there is no evidence that Sora and Mickey exist in this game as playable characters, Never, I haven't seen any videos online showing that they are playable characters, and every single guide I've seen online telling me how to unlock them, I have followed, and it hasn't worked. And even the Game Shark slash Action Replay cheat codes that I have tried to use on my emulator haven't worked. So, 
I conclude the internet is just playing a practical joke on everybody who plays this game. So that's what I'm going with. And I'm declaring myself done with this game. It was definitely fun playing this, but wow, it definitely was frustrating at times. Thank you all for watching. I literally, yeah, I, I did everything. I did everything. I got all the challenge schedules, I got all the mission crowns, I got every single item in the game, all of the slot releasers, cleared all the missions to the highest ability that they possibly could be as, I showed off every character in mission mode, I even grinded to maximum level. Like, there's nothing left for me to do. So, I'll have to think of another thing to do now after Backyard Baseball streams, although those won't last beyond this week. I'll have, to, I'll have to think about it, but this has been fun. Thank you all for joining in on this journey. It's definitely great. I'll be, I will be let's playing the next, four, the next Kingdom Hearts game. I will be let's playing because the next Kingdom Hearts game is going to require copious amounts of grinding, and I don't want to have to do that on stream. So I'll just do that offline and then cut it out and then do formal recordings for it. Don't know when that would all ever go up, but that's my plan. All right. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.